at the MIT Lincoln Laboratory Supercomputing Center, our mission is to provide supercomputing capabilities to all the brilliant researchers at Lincoln and uh, increasingly at MIT as well. These researchers are at the absolute leading edge of science and engineering, and we help people in essentially every single aspect of the uh, MIT and Lincoln Laboratories mission. We listen to what universities, what professors at universities are building, researching, developing, and we work closely with them to bring them into capabilities for a variety of defense and national security uh, challenges. And so what we're often called on doing is prototyping algorithms, systems as a whole that the Defense Department, the Homeland Security Department, and for that matter, the wider nation needs. And so much of the world has gone to modeling and simulation in computers. And so in order to enable our staff, they need more processing power than is available on their laptop and their desktop. They also have a demand for getting immediate feedback. Uh, it's not enough for them to just drop some jobs into a queue and, and wait for them. They are looking for engineering turns uh, per hour uh, and definitely many engineering turns per day in order to prototype these algorithms, get feedback, and figure out how they're going to improve that algorithm, improve what they find in the data in order to make uh, decisions for the sponsors that we have. The system that we're, that we're really excited about today is the Dell EMC system with uh, the revolutionary Intel Knight's Landing processor. Um, this is a massively parallel processor. It can do thousands of operations at once and it's connected together with an incredibly powerful network. It has about 40,000 cores. It's a petascale system, and we achieved a petaflop on the top 500 benchmark. It is a 648-node system. We're just really excited because this is the kind of processing that signal processing, image processing, machine learning, and uh, physical simulation just are a natural fit for. Machine learning has become extremely popular. Computers can see now. That's something that I could not say five years ago. And that technology is now being applied everywhere. It's just so much easier when you can point a camera at something and it can then produce an output of all the things that were in that image. Recently, we've been doing a lot of work with how to connect fundamentally different styles of databases. So SQL, no SQL, new SQL databases, all on the same system, all working for the same purpose. We took some publicly available data that was taken from an intensive care unit collected over approximately 10 years. And what we wanted to do was do analytics and analysis on this data that was not possible before. We were able to reduce two to 10 times the amount of time taken to do analysis, such as finding patients who have similar waveforms. And you can imagine something like this, you'd want to get fast. So if your doctor sees something going wrong, he or she would like to get the answer very quickly about what other patients do we have and what did we do with those patients when we saw these different signals coming from them. Really, ultimately, we collect data so that we can inform uh, and make good decisions about what's going on in the world, whether it's what medicine to, to make or what medicine to take, where are you know, terrorists or where you know, are uh, hackers who are trying to get into a system, or, you know, which, which plane is maybe not you know, going where it's supposed to be going.